I really can't stand him. But what I do want to address um, is... I can't. I can't do this with you here. Go, go with Dada. Why don't you go with Dada? He's so nosy, guys. He's looking at the people walking. Um, but I've been getting like a lot of messages, a lot of messages and comments on my videos on why, oh, hold on, just can't do this right now as I On why I wear my niqab some days and then some days I don't. Okay, so the reason why I wear it sometimes and then sometimes I don't is because I live in America. So like people here treat you kind of different with the niqab and it's not, um, it's not in a good way. I wore my niqab once in public with my husband and they were just looking at us, well, me really like in a very threatening way and he was scared so like he didn't feel comfortable either so he told me not to wear it no more out in public unless we're in a country where they're okay with it and we we currently live in florida so there's not a lot of niqabis here um so like if you see me wear it it's because i felt like it that day but i usually don't like to wear it a lot out for people and being or being raised in a christian home my mom is still having a hard time dealing with the whole transitioning thing so even wearing the hijab she's still bothered by it she's gotten a little bit better accepting it but she's still struggling with it and with the niqab she hasn't seen me with it in person but she's seen me in pictures and she just hates it she hates it so much and i tried to tell her that i like it like i feel very comfortable with my niqab like it's i don't know how to express it it's like it really i just love wearing the niqab it's i feel free it's comfortable people are like oh but it's hot aren't you hot like why do you have that on it's too much stuff on but i feel like if you try it it may be for you but it may not be for you but just don't don't judge it till you try it so yeah hopefully inshallah in the future we can move somewhere where it's not a threat to them and i can wear it all the time because i really want to wear it all the time to be honest i love it more i love my hijab but i love hindi gobs more and that's why i wear it sometimes and sometimes i know i'm not obligated to wear it and I'm not obligated to, like some people, I, I think it's more based off culture. They think that because I wear niqab, I have to wear it all the time. Like I'm not allowed to take it off. It's not true. You can take it off or take it or, or leave it on, you know, like it's, it's up to you really. And people need to understand that it's, their, it's that person's life like when I see a Nikabi sister and it's like literally once in the blue I don't be like oh her husband makes her wear that or oh she should take it off like no I just be like you know like salute to her because it's hard here to wear Nikabs like people don't get it but you can't live by what people say all the time because you'll never be happy and I'm starting to realize that every day and then I get asked also like how would you feel if your daughter didn't want to wear hijab or like you know be Muslim I mean I can't do nothing about that I can't force my kids to do anything it's up to them really but I will do my best to help them and guide them into the right path like if Zaire doesn't if Zaire doesn't want to be Muslim, I can't control what he wants or doesn't want. 
but I will give him a lot of life examples that I went through as a non-Muslim and hopefully he can either like take that advice or figure it out on his own because I like my parents would tell me things and I would still do them just to see if my outcome would be different and it, it, 9 out of 10 it was never different it was the same thing they went through it and it's so dumb like instead of just taking the advice I really made my life really more complicated he just fell you guys ever see your baby fall and you look away so they won't cry I literally do that all the time I'm such a bad parent wow but I make sure he's okay but if you look away quick enough he won't cry but if you look at him while he falls they're gonna cry um i don't know what else to update you guys on really not much has really happened only that we're moving um we're gonna be celebrating our two years of marriage islamically and through the court i guess i don't know i don't know how you would say that and my birthday is next month, Zaire's birthday is next month. It's gonna be a very busy month, inshallah. And this will be my first Ramadan I participate. I couldn't participate last year because Zaire was pregnant. So I'm so excited for that. Like I'm ready to fast, to read more Quran. I've been reading a lot of Quran lately and um, every time I post a verse in the Quran on, on Instagram, um, people um, ask, oh, what Quran is that? So I'm going to just put it here too, so you guys can like get the book. It's awesome and it's easy to read and understandable. Nothing. Oh, I started a TikTok. <laughs> I started a TikTok, guys. It's so addicting. Like, I freaking love it. Like, it's so addicting. I love TikTok. It's funny, and you know right now since we're on like lockdown, we can't do much but be on there. And I've been getting so much love and support there, and 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 Instagram and here too, really. So thank you guys so much for that. It's so crazy though, like you know, even if I'm having fun with my partner, I we still get like a little bit of like hate messages, like how it's haram to like dance and stuff but a lot of things are haram and we still do them so you know only thing you could do is like pray for people and Allah knows best what's in their hearts and their intentions I can't I also want to do like a vlog for Zaire's birthday honestly I don't know what type of vlogs people like to watch so like you guys have to give me like some type of ideas to post out there like what type of vlogs you guys want to see and like like more personal life like this um vlogs where we go out to eat or i have no idea I swear i'm not good at this um or i can do like uh confessions like you guys can just send me confessions through my instagram which is at stacy aline write your your assumptions about me or confessions or whatever and I, I can make a video responding I get asked a lot about my husband wanting other wives I get asked like how is it being a young mom how is it wearing a niqab which I already told you guys it's great it's amazing but I really don't know what people want to watch or see I personally like vlogs with the juiciness like i love getting into people's lives and see how they are like that's just me though nosy but yeah i think i'm just gonna end this vlog here and hopefully when you guys see this you guys can just give me some ideas of what to record and what you guys want to see more and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye next month oh our anniversary is next month Thank mm -hmm. you.